but just say screw it. I'm going to do absolutely everything Mark suggests and I'm just going to do it for three weeks and it's going to be tough. But after three weeks, I promise your man boobs will be significantly smaller. Hey guys, Mark McKillar with Live Anabolica today. I have four really good ideas on how to get rid of that ugly chest fat. And if you get really serious and you're dedicated to these four tips I'm going to give you, you can see amazing progress in just two to three weeks. So guys, please just say screw it. I'm going to dedicate myself to what Mark's going to tell me all right, in the next few minutes. And I mean really do it hard. Don't just kind of halfway do it because you're not going to get those great results. You'll look better, but just say screw it. I'm going to go absolutely balls to the wall. I'm going to do absolutely everything Mark suggests and I'm just going to do it for three weeks and it's going to be tough. But after three weeks, I promise your man boobs will be significantly smaller. All right, so the first thing you guys need to do is absolutely positively do resistance training, okay? And I'm not talking about going out and jogging for, you know, two or three miles. That's not it. I'm talking about pushing weights, uh, using resistance bands. You have to trust, train hard. You need to push yourselves really hard. And we're gonna be focusing on our chest. Now guys, this video is not a chest workout video. So there is a link in the description below this video that will take you to a video I shot on our YouTube channel that specifically gives you all kinds of great chest exercises. But I want you guys to focus primarily on the upper chest, okay? Everybody's lower chest is much bigger and stronger than their upper chest. That's just natural. So the video that my link takes you to will explain all this in detail. But guys, you have to hit it hard, all right? so. When I say hard, I mean if the workout calls for 10 reps, when you get to that 10th rep, you better be damn near dead, all right? You need to be at failure. If you know deep down that you could have knocked out another two or three reps, if somebody was holding a gun to your head, you didn't push yourself hard enough. So check out that video below in the link in the description below this video and it will take you to a fantastic chest workout that I did on our YouTube channel. All right, tip number two, cardio. But not the cardio that I mentioned before. Remember, going out and jogging two, three, four miles several times a week, uh-uh. I want you to do high intensity interval training. All right, that's called HIT cardio. Completely different concept, and you're actually gonna like it more because it's, it's just really time efficient, undone in a real, real short period of time. Now you're going to be dead tired. You're going to be out of breath. You're going to have that lactic acid going. I mean, it's going to hurt. Remember, that's the no pain, no gain thing. I, I, you probably hear me talk about over the months and years. So high intensity interval training does fantastic for reducing belly fat. And guess what? When you reduce your belly fat, you also reduce your chest fat. Okay. So there's a lot of enzymes in the fat in your stomach. And those enzymes actually help produce estrogen in your body. And estrogen tells your body to hold on to even more fat and more water. So if you can lower the amount of fat, you know, around your belly, you lower your estrogen levels and the lower your estrogen is, the less overall body fat you're going to have, which means less man boobs. All right. Tip number three. <laughs> this is a much easier one, guys sleep. All right. I don't think we put enough emphasis on sleep in a lot of my videos because everything's, you know, we, I tend to focus on exercise and nutrition and supplements and those kind of things. But, but sleep is really, really important because guys, most of y'all don't know this, but that's when you, your body produces the majority of your hormones. And I'm talking human growth hormone, testosterone, estrogen, all those things, okay, are being rebalanced and, re and generated at night when you're sleeping. So if you're not getting enough rest, and when I say enough, typically seven to nine hours, all right? So five, six hours ain't cutting it, guys. So force yourself to get seven to nine hours sleep just for the next two to three weeks. Remember, I want you to do everything I tell you in this video, and I mean to the letter, all right? 
So sleep is really important because while you're sleeping, also your hormones have to be in balance. And, and you know, I mentioned we want to keep estrogen levels low. Well, you need to have a certain amount of estrogen. And there's a, there's a ratio your body likes between testosterone and estrogen. And if those get out of whack, then it screws everything up. It screws up your metabolism, and if your metabolism slows down, then you're just naturally gonna put on fat, okay? Even if you're doing everything else right. So, sleep is critical, guys. It also helps to reduce cortisol levels, and cortisol is a stress hormone, and so the more cortisol you have in your body, the less testosterone in your body is able to produce. They're inversely proportional. So sleep, guys, is seriously far more important than you might think it is. All right, tip number four. For most guys, this is actually the, the toughest one to follow because it's something you need to think about all day long. So the resistance training, hey, no problem. Knock that workout out in, I don't know what, 30, 45 minutes, you're done for the day. You don't have to think about it anymore. But this fourth tip is the toughest, and that is your nutrition, your diet, okay? So I want you guys to, to focus on, I call this maybe an anti-estrogen diet. Um, it's, it's really, you know, you just want to eat healthy meals throughout the day. And I want to give you a few just brief tips. So for breakfast, I want you guys, don't skip breakfast. Unless you're doing intermittent fasting, that's a whole nother deal, okay? So you guys try to incorporate some eggs into your breakfast, okay? So eggs have got a ton of great stuff in them for our body. All right. They got a lot of a lot of protein and they have healthy fats. And remember guys, we have to have enough of the healthy fat in our diet. And I'm talking about consistently day in and day out for our body to produce as much testosterone as it naturally can. So if you're not getting enough of the correct fats, then your body just simply isn't gonna produce as much testosterone as it otherwise would. And so the more the higher our T levels, the more or the bigger our muscles will grow and the higher our T levels, the more efficient our body is at actually burning off the fat in our body and using that fat as a source of energy. So get those eggs in there. They have all kinds of other micronutrients and vitamins and minerals in them. So eggs are good guys. Don't, don't stay clear of eggs. All right, lunch. So I'm gonna go through the three meals here. Lunch, guys, is a great time to get a ton of veggies in there. And when I say veggies, try to make sure you get a lot of cruciferous veggies. So that's stuff like broccoli and cauliflower and cabbage. You can Google cruciferous vegetables. There's a whole long list of things that are, you know, you can choose from. But the reason I'm talking about that in particular is because those specifically help keep your estrogen levels in check, okay? So the other thing that's so good about those veggies is that they have tons of other micronutrients in them that you really need, a lot of vitamins and minerals. And they also help you feel satiated, makes you feel full, and they got very few calories, okay? And they're great for your digestive system. Man, it's gonna really help you with your BMs, guys. It's gonna feel fantastic. And so, try to do that, I mean, every day, all right? The more, the better. And if you are in a situation where you just can't get your hands on the weather because you're traveling or you're at work or just something's going on, you're busy, just take a supplement. We got a fantastic supplement called Testo Greens, and it's specifically for this issue. It's for guys that can't get enough cruciferous vegetables in their diet, okay, on a regular basis. I take it because even I don't eat nearly enough veggies, okay? So you can, you can check out the, the specifics of the product on our website because it really has a fantastic, long, in-depth write-up about every ingredient that's in there, you know, why we put it in there, the studies, the scientific studies that we used to help formulate the product. And it's, you know, it's one scoop of this powder. You stick it in water, you drink it, it takes about 10 seconds and you're done. You don't have to worry about all the broccoli and cauliflower and things like that. So you gotta eat a good, healthy lunch. It's not just about breakfast and dinner. All right, let's wrap it up with dinner. So 
If you guys have been listening to the media and the news for the last 20 years, you've heard all kinds of things about beef. It's bad for your heart. It causes you to, you know, put on fat, blah, 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 blah. Well, steak is good for you, okay? Almost all steaks are really lean and don't have much fat, okay? So you can cut off the big chunks of fat. And then the remaining fat that's actually in, in the healthy part of the steak is the good fat, all right? So your body can use all the little marbled fat that's in the meat of the steak. And so I eat steak all the time. It's fantastic, it is not bad for you. It's not gonna make you fat. So steak has got a ton of protein in it. It's got some of that good healthy fat that I was talking about earlier, like in eggs. And I would encourage you guys to throw mushrooms, get some sauteed mushrooms in there because the mushrooms also have some ingredients in there to help lower something in your body called aromatase. And aromatase is an enzyme, okay? And that enzyme is, is really bad because it actually helps produce a lot of estrogen. And remember, we've been talking about estrogen earlier in this, in this video. And so everything I'm talking about today is either trying to build muscle with training or keep the estrogen in check and the T levels as high as possible. And so the combination of steak and mushrooms are a great way to do that. And guess what? Mushrooms got almost no calories in them. So you don't have to worry about, you know, eating too many calories for the day. If you just followed those three meal plans, and I, and you know, I know they weren't detailed meal plans, but that is real easy to do. And you count up the calories that's in the at the end of the day, and I guarantee you, you will be surprised at how few calories you actually ate during the day. You don't have to worry about, you know, overdoing things. All right, so guys, I want to wrap up real quick. You know, this is all about losing your chest fat. And when you lose your chest fat, I promise your chest is going to look bigger. Now, when you measure it with a tape, it's going to be smaller. But the leaner you get, the more muscle definition you can see, and the more muscle definition, the bigger your muscles look, all right? So I'm gonna have a picture of me up on the screen right now, and this is when I was doing a contest a few years ago, and I was the lightest I'd ever weighed by probably a good 12 pounds or so. I had a real low body fat, but it made my chest look big. But I promise, I lost probably an inch and a half in my chest measurement when I got down there. But the whole point is, guys, as you lose fat, as you lose those man boobs, your chest is actually gonna look bigger and more impressive. And normally, I say, this thing ain't gonna happen overnight, you gotta stick with it, never give up on yourself, and of course that's true, but if you really, really get detailed and serious about following all these tips, and I mean to the letter, I promise you will see results in just two to three weeks. And now, I'm going to tell you, never give up on yourself. <laughs>